Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about this <coughs> flowering plant. You can see this uh, <coughs> leaves of the plant and the flowers of the plant. So the name of this plant is Begonia. I think you can understand, uh, means you know this plant. So today I'm going to tell you how to uh, care this plant, what about the potting mix, how uh, we should water it and how. Uh, much sunlight this plant needs so let's start this video at first let me talk to you about the potting mix so actually uh, I have broken my stand I have told you in the previous video so I can't put it still uh, so I have ordered a new one so until then I have to means you have to uh, this jerking will occur in this uh, means you can see <laughs> I'm holding the camera with hand so okay please forgive me for that and okay so at first let's talk about the potting mix of the plant so it has to be uh, well drained and uh, organic rich so <laughs> you can see means a soft soil mix uh, means you can see this See this can you see this this has to be the this is how the spotting mix should be you can see so very very porous and well drained so for that what how can you make this soil for that you have to take 40% garden soil 40% of organic compost whatever you have you can, may take uh, leaf compost you may take uh, <coughs> vermi compost and you uh, may take cow dung compost as well I have taken mixture of three I think so it will make the soil really soft and organic rich and another thing what <coughs> I am <coughs> another 20% is sand it will ensure that uh, the drainage will uh, be very good so I'm <coughs> showing you the sand also this is how the sand should be you can see this ensures um, um, <coughs> the soil to be uh, well drained and another thing for water <coughs> begonia likes its soil to be slightly moist <coughs> not uh, very uh, soggy or not moist uh, very much moist but slightly moist so for that what <coughs> you have to do when you see <coughs> the soil <coughs> like this I means today I have to give the water to this you can see the top layer is fully dry you can see this but inside it is slightly moist you can see the color difference it is slightly darker so this is how the <coughs> soil should be so today I'm going to water it and uh, in this way you have to keep care of the water and for the sunlight begonia loves uh, sunlight uh, which is not having so much uh, intense of heat like uh, the, it likes morning sun and evening sun so I have put uh, this plant in such a uh, place that it gets morning sun and evening sun but not the afternoon sun you can see this and there from there the evening some sun comes here and here from here the morning sun comes and here is the <coughs> mango tree which prevents the afternoon sun to get to this uh, area so you can see it is doing really well if you want to see how the <coughs> plant was you can go to my uh, channel and I have shown this plant <coughs> in a garden shopping video and you will be able to find the difference of the growth begonia another thing i need to tell you that begonia <coughs> has really slow growth rate means it um, grows really slow so compared to that <coughs> thing i think the growth of the plant is okay and within some days and means within spring this whole uh, rectangular pot will be full of mm -hmm. the uh, flowers and the leaves and I think the leaves are also very nice isn't it dark color <coughs> it gives a nice color to the garden 
this much care only and <coughs> for uh, further fertilization you can add the liquid comp uh, fertilizer i have shown you uh, how to add the liquid fertilizer you can watch that video and other uh, you can also go to my channel you can go to the playlist and you can see many liquid fertilizers and <coughs> in this week i am going to uh, give another type of liquid fertilizer so for that you have uh, to watch that you have to subscribe to my channel and to get the not notification whenever i upload the video and okay and totally organic no chemicals are required for any plant and hope you like this video if you give like this video give it a like and please subscribe to my channel and if you want um, any uh, plants means videos on any other plants you can ask me in the comment section below i will if i have the plant i will make the video <coughs> and if i don't have i have to find it <coughs> sorry i have to find it um, and then i have to study it and then i will make the video so okay let me show you something else so you can see this beautiful uh, uh, bougainvillea color i think I think you can see this area, lovely looking area, uh, although I need to water this today, but still you can see this area, full of birds and <coughs> looking really uh, awesome, and this area also. I also wanted to share this one, that is, uh, you can see this spot, so here I have planted the tulip bulbs and today I have... <coughs> means removed some soil from the top layer and I have what saw that sprouts came out from the tulip bulbs and I hope that this year I will be able to see the tulips for the first time in my life and here is the condition of the lilies so I will soon make a video on this plant you can see very beautiful looking plant <coughs> I think it is cypress but still I need to study a lot about this plant so I will soon make a video. I am showing you this one because it is looking really pretty, isn't it? I love the color of the plant. So this is how the total setup of winter flowers is going on. And I think within, within some days, <coughs> this whole area will be full of blooms. So to watch that, please subscribe to my channel and please support my channel uh, to watch <coughs> this going on with me slowly slowly <laughs> and okay thanks a lot for watching this video